So how did that activity go? Hopefully you got a few ideas on some possible inventions that you can pursue or problems that you can pursue uh, and have some uh, inklings of some solutions that you can apply to those problems, okay? So just as a quick review before we get into the scamper activity, we want to remember that brainstorming uh, is a part of the invention process, okay? This is probably the first step that you want to apply uh, whenever you're thinking about what problems and solutions you can come up with for your invention, okay? So uh, brainstorming allows us to identify problems and find solutions, think about some of the materials that um, we want to use for our invention and come up with different ways to test our invention, okay? So brainstorming is important because you can use it in multiple steps of the invention process, okay? It's good at the beginning, but also as you get further into the invention process, it also uh, provides opportunities for you to think about different ways to solve those micro problems uh, further along in the invention process, okay? So um, remember, invention requires thinking outside of the box, meaning that you're looking and doing things differently, and that's why brainstorming is important because it allows you to throw out crazy ideas that, uh, again, may evolve into real probable solutions uh, uh, for your invention. Um, also, let me move this here. Um, also, brainstorming allows you to think of different ways to use everyday items, okay? And that's actually what we're going to do in the next activity, which is called the scamper activity, okay? Um, so we're going to practice brainstorming using a process or a step-by-step -step, um, guide called scamper. So let's take a look at that. Um, we'll go over here. And so here is, let me zoom in here. Here's the worksheet that we're going to give you, okay? So coaches, if you could pass out those worksheets um, after this video, this is what we're going to go through. So we'll go over it a little bit here, okay? So SCAMPER is a technique. SCAMPER is actually a uh, an acronym. An acronym is something like NFL or NBA or FBI, right? Those letters actually stand for something else. So in, in NFL... National Football League, right? NBA's National Basketball Association. And for FBI, it's Federal Bureau of Investigation. So what do the letters in SCAMPER stand for? So they stand for Substitute, Combine, Adapt, Modify, Magnify, or Minimize, Put to Other Use, Eliminate, and then Rearrange or Reverse, okay? So how does this, uh, how does SCAMPER work or help us to uh, brainstorm. Well, first, let's say you take an everyday item like, uh, in this case, maybe a, a whisk. If you know what a whisk is, your parents may use it to scramble eggs, okay? It's a, it's a metal object, typically metal, but it has like wires on it, right, that you can use to actually whip up or whisk uh, the, the egg, okay? Or really anything that you can imagine. You may use them also when you're doing some baking, okay? So let's say if we're thinking about a whisk, how could we substitute, okay? So this is where, uh, can we use the whisk to do something else, right? So this is the substitute piece, right? And I'm gonna move through these pretty quickly so we can get to the activity. Um, can we combine the whisk with something to do or to serve another purpose, okay? So what happens if you use more than one of the item? Can we add two of them, right? Um, in what would that give us, okay? What would it allow us to do? Uh, can we adapt the whisk to do something, okay? Meaning can we change a small part of it or a large part of it and allow it to be able to do something else? Um, and then if we're talking about modify, magnify, minimize, are there parts of it that we can make bigger or stronger, longer? Um, can we take uh, minimize? Can we take some parts away, modify? Can we change the shape of it or the material, right? Um, and then can we put it to another use, okay? Can we use this item um, uh, for something else, right? And then the eliminate is what happens if we take away some parts? Um, and then what can we use that for, right? And, and then rearrange. Are we able to rearrange or reverse some of these parts? Uh, different reverse meaning put it in a different direction. And rearrange meaning can we move some of the parts around relative to each other? And if we do all these things, what can we uh, accomplish, okay? So if you have your scamper worksheet, okay, you and a partner or several of you in a group, depending on what your coach chooses, 
you can decide, uh, choose one of the items that your uh, coach has for you and go through the scamper process using that item, okay? Um, so you may have a whisk, you may have a pen, you may have a pencil, you may have a rubber band, but you'll go through this process, the scamper process, to figure out new and inventive ways to use that item, okay? Um, so go ahead, take your scamper worksheet, grab a uh, an item that your coach should have for you, and then you and your group members go through the, act, the scamper activity and write down uh, some of the different ways that you can use that item uh, by modifying it and going through the whole scamper process.